Okay guys, just to uh, show you what I've been working on lately for this car. Um, this is my new, believe it or not, tank. This is the bigger 12 gallon tank that these cars came out with. Um, mine has a factory little 8 gallon, so this is a nice little upgrade. Um, which should be fairly easy to undertake. It looks so ugly because um, I've stripped it back last weekend and then gave it a coat of um, rust converter, which is sort of the black finish you can see on it. Uh, since then, I've, uh, because of what I've been doing, that's, some of that's come off again, so that's why it looks so ugly. But um, to show you what I've been doing, firstly, um, the inside of the tank was very rusty, and it looked like it had a previous coating of tank sealer inside it, perhaps, because it was just like a rubbery goo. It might have simply just been uh, petrol varnish. I don't know, but it was... Um, very tarry inside so I said about last weekend cleaning it out and I bought some uh, CLR type product and washed it out and pressure blasted it I was able to get the able to get the pressure washer inside these holes and um, give it a good old blast out get rid of any loose stuff and then it was still not good enough inside it was still very rusty it's a lot of surface rust so um, I actually had a couple of little pinholes which I've soldered up here as well you might see so it was getting to the limit of its life but I'm going to give it another crack um, yesterday I went and purchased uh, something a bit more aggressive and that would be the stuff here that's simply a nice little bit of acid and that stuff just eats rust like you wouldn't believe it um, so I've been washing it out with that this morning, or yesterday and this morning, and it's come up really nice. Um, after I washed it out with that, I gave it a hose out, and then I poured a bunch of acetone into it, and got my old brush in there, which I've uh, made. I cut down a cut down a pretty heavy duty brush there, so it would fit through the holes in the tank, and poured a bunch of acetone in there. And gave it a good old scrub and um, it's come up really nice so I'll just see if I can show you the inside of the tank now um, I've just given it a rinse out as you can see it's pretty clean but see that rust there that's already forming I've just washed that out this morning with acid my second wash this morning because it was showing surface rust and I've just rinsed it out with water you can see it's still steaming away a little bit in here by the looks of it of acid still in here and that's just surface rust it's just coming back so aggressively because there's obviously not much galve or zinc coating on the inside of this tank left anymore but you can see it's clean of lumps and bumps and, and anything really bad that surface rust I'm not too concerned about because um, it comes off easily now that I've got the worst of it off if I gave us a quick rinse out with um, the acid that was stuff to just literally rinse off uh, before your eyes, it's um, amazing. Um, but I have purchased um, some POR15 tank sealant and metal prep, uh, which I'll pick up this week. And so I will be coating the inside of the tank with that. And um, from what I understand, that stuff is about as good as it gets and should make this tank, you know, pretty good and usable. So that's how it looks. There's my um, breather pipe just poking through the back there. You can see, so that's the, the top of the tank you can see there, and that's the underside. So it's doesn't look great in there, I have to admit. Right now, it was cleaner like 10 minutes ago. Literally, it was almost perfectly grey inside here, but it's just um, that surface rust is just coming back real quick. So not too worried about it though. Um, once we're finished done in here, it'll be fully sealed and protected and won't be able to rust anymore because of the metal prep that you put on before the POR15 which then keeps the moisture out and should keep this thing really good. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Um, and then the outside will get a nice coat of paint of some sort. I'm not sure yet how I'm going to do that. Um, maybe some under sealant or maybe some zinc coat. Um, I'll make up my mind about that this week. But anyway, there's my tank. Um, it's um, in 
in pretty good shape overall. That's why I'm trying to make use of it. Um, so I'll finish uh, coating this probably during the week. And I'll give you an update then to show you how it's come up. Alright guys, thanks. See you soon. Yeah, hi folks, just another uh, update today. Um, this follows on from the work I've been doing on my fuel tank, you might have seen. So it's the same day I've uh, posted that video. Um, I've decided um, after a little bit of thought over the last little while that I am going to just spend a little more time on this engine bay, just getting it looking a little bit better. Um, the black paint you see on here that I've painted it with is actually um, only an epoxy based sealer. Um, and I know it's very good and it doesn't look too bad um, it's a little bit um, orange peely in places as you can probably see I'm, it's okay at a distance but I think I can do better um, and plus um, I believe this product um, although it's been on here for two or three years now I guess since I did this Indian Bay it's lasted pretty well it does apparently um, sort of go uh, faded and chalky apparently um, so I really need to top coat it. So I went out yesterday and purchased um, some top coat um, Which is just this product here. It's uh, Subframe black you can see it's going to be um, satin black um, I'm not going for a high gloss finish the engine bay is not good enough for that sort of finish um, I'd rather just go for a nice satin finish which will um, help hide any little defects and just gives a nice look and should be easy to clean still so that's my mission today uh, I've got some scotch bright pads there you can see um, not scotch bright pads but you know um, scouring pads so I will give this a quick rub down and mask off um, and I am going to squirt a bit of black paint around today and you can see I've got some paint off down here from trial fitting my engine bay you know so I need to tidy this up again um, so that when I do my final fit of my engine, which is coming up soon, um, then I'm going to be happy with it rather than wishing I'd done it. So, like I said, it doesn't look too bad in this video probably, but um, under closer inspection it can be better. So that's what I'm working on. I'll come back later today and show you how it's came out hopefully. Alright, see you now. All right, here's my uh, quick update, uh, as promised, uh, of my finished painted engine bay. As you can see, it's looking very glossy uh, for what is supposed to be a satin finish. I'm just hoping that uh, after it dries off in a couple of hours, it sort of flattens back a little bit. Uh, I certainly, certainly didn't prep the engine bay for a, being a gloss black, um, although it's not in terrible condition you know I just didn't prep it for the um, the amount of reflection you get from gloss black but it's not awful it's better than what it was um, I say I won't panic too much just now until I see it in a couple of hours when it's dried off a bit and see if it's flattened off a little bit um, you can see there's a few little bits and pieces in it I'm only in my garage doing this uh, again very low tech I uh, had some issues with my uh, HVLP gun uh, and my compressor just not getting the best uh, regular pressure I could have done but I uh, persevered and got a couple of little runs here and there which again um, I'm hoping if it flattens back you know they won't be as visible but anyway uh, there it is done now so um, we'll stop back later and see how it looks after it's um, dried off. We'll give it maybe 24 hours and I'll give you another little update then. Alright, out for now. Hey folks, well here we are, here we are again, uh, another update. 
Now it's the day after uh, I've painted the engine bay and uh, as you can see it is still very glossy and it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be satin so um, I was hoping that it might flatten off a little bit uh, as it dried but it has not and uh, having now done some or done some research and read some reviews on this particular paint which is a single pot enamel uh, it turns out that it is known for not being as per the label reads um, stating that it's satin so I've ended up with a gloss finish um, it doesn't look awful you know it's a little bit orange peely I'm not so concerned about that as it's only an engine bay um, I was more sort of going for the satin look just to try and tone things down a bit um, currently my heater cowl in there which I've got masked up is in satin black and I was sort of going for the same or wanting to go for the same sort of finish um, but this is what I've ended up with and I'm just going to, have to decide if I can live with it or not really um, you know, there's a couple of bonuses with uh, gloss and that is that uh, it's easy to touch up um, you can cut and polish it to get any lumps and bumps out if you want to um, and I guess it's probably going to you know, wipe off and clean off easier um, from any spills than perhaps satin might so I don't know if I stay with the gloss then I'll definitely have to pull my heater um, cowl off and spray that with the same finish so it matches um, I don't know, like I say I'm just going to take a couple of days I think now um, I'm sort of midweek so I won't be doing anything before the weekend as far as um, changing the finish if anything I'll um, take a couple of days and and if I'm going to change it then I'll pick up some paint before the weekend and I'll give it another quick rub down and paint it but um, I don't know I'm sort of in two minds right now. I don't hate it, it's just not what I, what I was as expecting. And um, just have to decide if I can live with it or not. I don't know. Give me your opinions if, you've, uh, if you want to comment, that'd be great. Um, and I guess I'll touch base again in a couple of days and see if I made up my mind and um, go from there. Um, I'll leave the masking on until that time because, you know, no point doing it again. So, um, if I decide to say, take the, uh, if I decide to stay with the gloss, then I'll take all the masking off and, and show you what it looks like um, with that done. But, I say, I'll take a couple of days and um, maybe get some feedback from everybody on Facebook and um, see what everybody thinks. Alright, for now we'll check back in a few days.